morning fellow ambazonians today na thursday number 28 day for this number 7 month for the year 2022 my name na capo daniel the deputy defense chief and the spokesman of the ambazonian governing council aka sense pass king on our own countryman on our welcome to our daily podcast a program where they bring on the truth facts based analysis meaningful information for help we as we the worker towards our freedom the independence of ambazonia good people of the former british southern cameroons citizens of ambazonia the topic f- for today's episode it be titled your life does not matter it does not concern you this one it be in regards to the french president emmanuel macron's visit to la republic du cameroon but first news it come from bamenda as confusion or seemingly confusion in the rain amongst the population of bamenda as somewhere ikomesako the sacked leader of one of the ig group he declared a lockdown for protest emmanuel macron's visit even though that visit in no go pass for inside ambazonia the lockdown it will be rejected by the other ig group of cristiano where they make out audio for talk say me people they no respect them so far na only for insa bamenda we people they be shidong for insa house with confusion we don't get several calls for inquiry we don't decide for shidong quiet because what people they must open their eye some person you know fit dey way you know get no relevance you know get no following you know get no soldier for insa bamenda or insa ambazonia as all man in abandon you you know fit just come out he talk anything and then me people they begin be confused we must grow past that stage but wait to be the news today on this regard newspapers radio communicators prominent media outlet like mimimi4 cna they don't all publish them the lockdown for insa bamenda it be enforced actively by the cameroon occupation forces this is not the first time we sako it don't talk about lockdown and that lockdown it be enforced tactically by the cameroon military why is it that the cameroon military always take actions to enforce sako's lockdown the answer is your own guess from information we obtain from bamenda as people they dish down for house the one the way they don't venture for go for outside they don't be turned back say me then go back for the house at gunpoint by the cameroon occupation forces they get reports from mrs ngeng junction where the cameroon military is even punished by people the way they venture for carry passenger them for go out for the tell them say a lockdown several bike people them they be move them for bike put them mid and shitong for inside poto poto drive their passenger them mid and go back for house then they tell them say today na lockdown day these news are widely publicized and the evidence is true there are also wide report that the same thing was done by the cameroon military in c junction in meta quarter in tarinkun in travelers in hospital roundabout cameroon forces turn away people and ask them to return back home seize bikes and punish bike people thereby crippling the town of bamenda and enforcing a lockdown of bamenda bamenda na the capital of ambazonian resistance there have been evidence about corruption misappropriation of funds of my trip to boya by sako ikome there have been announcement made by paul bias end of year speech calling sako ikome referring to sako ikome as somebody that they have understanding the world bank report have reported that despite discussing in public that he is fighting for independence sako ikome have written several letters accepting to compromise the independence for ambazonia for something else and even making gesture to seek for positions within the cameroon government with members of his group but this lockdown in bamenda is not something anybody could ignore the evidence was too much the calls and messages coming in from bamenda to report the incident is just too much and it was very systematic 
multiple locations, Cameroon military, enforcing lockdown and actually telling people to go back home that it is a lockdown day. One would wonder why. I will leave that for you to decide and to make sense of it all. In other happenings in the great state of Menchum, the phone of one of the phone in Wum, from Bambi, the second, it then come out for appeal for calm for the population of Angem where four of their innocent civilians they be killed by Mbororo vigilante group following the death of three Mbororo youths them where they be killed and slaughtered by unknown men which we will believe are members linked to Cameroon military. The fun of Angem, it talks to me the population then be calm. So the Cameroon military they, they could take action for try to resolve this issue. We want to remind our people them for not be cowards and for not be naive. The same Cameroon military is being known widely by the Angam people for being those behind the Mbororo youth. There are multiple videos, multiple reports of Cameroon military supporting the Mbororo youth with weapons and recruiting them to form a vigilante group. Mbororo military people from the northern part of La Republic to Cameroon have been dispatched previously and stayed among the Mbororo people right in womb center to train them, to arm them, and use them to fight against Ambazonian fighters. And those same Mbororo people have been behind many kidnapping for ransom in womb. This is a problem that is well known to the vast majority of the Angan people. This is public knowledge. Even the blind can see and the deaf can hear. Everybody in Angam knows. The vigilante Mbororo people are a group of boys trained, armed, motivated financially by the Cameroon military. This is public knowledge, I repeat again. Everybody know, including the Imams, including the Ardus, both the Mbororo people and the people of Angam, they know that the vigilante Turks, the terrorist people that are working behind the Cameroon military are behind the atrocities in Angam. Our people have seen Mbororo people who are linked to the Mbororo people right in Kambe, recruiting youth and linking them up, including the ones in Sabga Hill, and using them to attack Ambazonian fighters and also to attack civilians to provoke communal violence. For the fun of Angem, to say that the same Cameroon military will resolve these problems is a joke. We know that if the Cameroon military, they want to arrest these particular boys, they will move up to the hills where they are sitting in plain sight, where their camps are, where they sit and eat, and they will pick them up, but we know this will not happen. The whole motivation of causing and injecting this communal fight was to justify the presence of the Cameroon military because they have no more legitimacy to cling on to. Messages such as the one provided by Fon Baambi the second will be used by Paul Bia diplomatically to justify his presence in Ambazonia. The Fon is acting as an enabler to enable the same cancer that is eating his own people. This is not acceptable. We call on the youths in Angem to prepare themselves for war in order to secure their peace. We also ask on the Bororo people, the legitimate Ambazonian Bororo people, to arm themselves and prepare to take on these Mbororo youth who are spoiling their names. If the Mbororo people do not do more to take out these Turks amongst themselves that are causing this havoc, they risk their cutters being targeted with mass killing through poisoning. This is a real danger that the Mbororo people must know and they must take actions. The Cameroon military have just two objectives, to get our people to justify their presence ask for their help and to get our people to focus on fighting each other. We must defeat these two objectives. Our forces must continue to receive the support of the population to fight against the Cameroon occupation forces that we guarantee will happen and will continue to happen. Our Mbororo people and our people in Angem, they should continue to meet and will continue to encourage peace and mechanism to make sure that they continue to regulate activities between cattle raisers and farmers and ensure that there will be peace between our Mbororo people and the people of Wum. The Cameroon government have failed in all its strategy. They started to inject the whole issue and I quote, Northwest and Southwest issue. It has failed woefully. They injected kidnapping for ransom by recruiting what we used to call the Atanganji boys 
to go after prominent people within our quarters pastors business people or people that are loved in order to target them with phone calls intimidation and sometimes kidnapping for ransom with the hope that this is going to turn away our population away from the ambazonian fighters five years on the ambazonian people are still behind their liberation movement what la republic failed to anticipate is that the ambazonian people the ambazonian governing council and the ambazonian factions are going to create anti-kidnapping squad to fight against the kidnapping for ransom and go after this vigilante group ultimately this is the solution in our choir news is coming yesterday after the people of Masaka Eko, the agents of darkness, the agents of La Republic du Cameroon, and chief enabler, Mr. Eka Martin, who calls himself a senator, who is not elected by anybody or have any mandate from Akwaya, they were expecting after the multiple provocation for the Ambazonian forces in Mavas, the unity warriors, to launch an attack against the civilian population. That attack has not happened. The forces of the Unity Warriors of Manu have committed to respect an injunction order not to cross into Masaka Eko to attack the innocent civilians. They have committed themselves and they have respect this injunction order and they will not cross into, into Masaka Eko to attack. Out of frustration, yesterday we are getting news that an entire family have been wiped out in Masaka Eko in a village called Bakinjo. A one, one family was killed, everybody in the family killed, and there was no eyewitness. The, the actions were, were staged to look like an attack from Ambazonian fighters. We want to uh, guarantee the people of Masaka Eko and the people from uh, Bakinjo village. I can assure them that this was not an action done by Ambazonian forces. It was not done by the forces in Mavas or the Oliti people. They have previously come out to claim actions, and they are now promise they have promised and engaged themselves we did not put that out there not to cross and carry out any further attacks to give peace a chance whatever attack that has happened in the village of uh, bakinjo the people should know that these are all actions by cameroon operative that they are trying to instigate them to go back and attack their forces ambazonian forces in oliti they should stay away and they should direct their anger towards the person behind all these problems the person is nobody but Acha Martin and the so-called elite who are trying to buy favor from La Republic to Cameroon to justify their presence there and to try to take on the Ambazonian fighters there. They have failed and they will fail woefully. Patriotism should reign over tribalism. Now to the visit of Emmanuel Macron. It does not concern you according to the title of this our episode. The visit of Emmanuel Macron is tailor-made for the French people, the people in France. It does not concern us Ambazonians or La Republicans. It is all a stage issue to respond to growing cries within, within France that is being plagued with high number of refugees and asylum seekers from Africa that are stuck in France trying to cross into England. African activists in France have shamed the French government for being behind many co conflicts in Africa. Due to the Ambazonian Governing Council targeted diplomacy, we have used the people of, Itali of Italy, Italian politicians, to expose the French government for collecting money from African states, 14 of them in the France Africa communities, former French colonies, as tax, colonial tax. This exposure have brought France to the limelight with increasing boldness of Pan-African activists. The French leadership is trying to guarantee their people that they are for peace. They are visiting Africa to try to bring some normalcy in a place where they want to portray as a place where it's still primitive with leaders such as Paul Bia who are unable to answer simple questions. It is not about you. Your life do not matter for the French people, as we have seen in well-documented evidence in the ELF case, the defunct ELF, where corruption network amongst the African leaders, the support for dictatorship and the suppression of the people's rights in Africa have been a systemic policy put in place by French undercover policies using its multinational in Africa. It does not concern you. Why one will wonder why a high-profile visit such as Emmanuel Macron to La Republique du Cameroon 
there are not even still pictures of him getting out of the aircraft he nicodemously moved into the unity palace the presidential house of la republic du cameroon without any video or without anybody showing him or welcoming him at the airport as you would expect even more bizarre are the questions that have been posed by the journalists that accompany his trip one would wonder why modern journalists professional journalists in this modern area moving into the republic of cameroon knowing very well that cameroon have one of the most neglected conflict in the war cameroon's war with ambazonia why would they not ask about those questions but rather they focus on asking on silly questions which played into Paul Bia's propaganda. It is not about you. If it was about you, the question of Ambazonia would have been demanded publicly. Usually, in such high-profile visits, diplomatic protocol are usually respected to honor the witch and to make the projections of their host. So it is not a mistake that there is suggestion on the media that Emmanuel Macron have suggested that decentralization should be the solution to solve the Ambazonian war with La Republic du Cameroon. Behind the scene, we know very well that the real issues are being discussed. Commentators from the United States of America, such as Ambassador Thibault Nagy, the former from the Secretary of State for African Affairs, have stated on his Twitter account that Ambazonian freedom and justice is inevitable. It is just a matter of time and when, not a matter of debate. My country people, our people should know very well that the people in France, most people in Europe, are not even aware about what is going on in Africa, let alone about the war between Ambazonia and La Republique du Cameroon. The media in the West have largely hidden away this war from their population. That is why Emmanuel Macron will make sure that nothing of his visit will highlight and bring to the front pages of the newspapers in France and across the world about the plight of the Ambazonian people. For any country to continue to impose colonialism and such barbaric, repressive, subjugative system over another people, they usually will lie to their own people. They will engage in deception to portray a backward African people. All this is deep in the French racism against black men it is up to ambazonian to fight because power concede nothing we must fight both to portray to the european countries their citizens including the french people the real picture of what is going on in ambazonia and even more importantly to cripple their interests from receiving foods and product from cdc de monte plantation and other issues that are of interest to the french public our fight is in our hands the president of the ambazonia governing council have laid out a policy in response to this an entire episode a special edition will be broadcast today midday ambazonian time on specifically to highlight the speech and respond an official reaction of the president of the ambazonian governing council leader of our war of liberation dr cho lucas ayaba Capo Daniel, signing off.